Right, I'll tell you a very, very short, very short story, but something that happened to me in 1973. Okay, just like to tell you the uh, story about me. Uh, I'm just uh, tracing my family history at the moment. And they're blowing it down. All the houses were evacuated, and we all had to go to the shops on Ravensbury Street. I'm a water's broke during my science exam, but um, they won't let me leave. It was, it was sometimes it was hilarious, but sometimes it was violent as well. Oh well, I looked at one and I said, what's it like to be beaten by a bunch of scousers? Uh, a lot of them used to spend all Saturday then drinking. I was born in LA, Lower Down Coats, Colebrook Street in the Bats of Backs. I didn't go to school till I was nine years old and when I did go to uh, school, I got into trouble uh, my very first day. In terms of the Community Reporters Programme, it came really about through two pieces of work that we'd carried out as MCIN in the past. One was the development of community websites, and we currently have 13 of those. But what we found was is that local people wanted to say things that we can put up onto our sites. So we explored the idea of how do we get more local residents involved in the production and development of content. Hello, my name's Faye Wall. I'm from Salford. I belong to the Chalk History Group. Blogging is something new. So uh, I had to get my thinking cap on. I've um, put on about the trips we have out. Um, I put on a, a photograph of 1930. Hopefully that um, people that look at the blog will come and join us. Community Reporters is really exciting. People want to tell their stories and they want to tell their stories in different ways. But for instance, we have a group of deaf people who simply wanted to tell a joke but the trick was they wanted to tell a joke in sign language. So that's exactly what they did. And they decided not to put subtitles on because they wanted people to recognise that sign language is a different form of language. Good morning, I'm Mr Bentley. I'm here this morning to show you how to make a gingerbread cake. The main ingredients are a pound of, uh, pound of self-raising flour, and there's a gingerbread all done. What's different to our allotments than all the other allotments? Looking at the animals, the rabbits, the donkey, the geese, the goats. Selfish chickens. Selfish chickens. And rabbits. And rabbits and the face painting. And it's just great to see the community all getting together. Uh, we're going to do some ta uh, Tai Chi now, Terry, with the Chinese carers from Manchester and Chowtown carers. So all coming in and have some fun. Excellent. Um, when I was interviewing people, I was interviewing a nice lady and she actually said that she thought I was a good interview and that made me feel really happy and good. Because all you get on the media is a lot of bad news. You know, there's a murder here, someone's got shot, someone's got knifed, uh, you know, youth crime and stuff. But there might be some youth that, that are putting on shows doing something good, uh, making music, making uh, a stage production uh, or going out and helping the community. That needs reporting on where the big guys will not touch it but as the small guys you can touch on that and uh, people can see the positive side of the area. Being an East Manchester community reporter has opened so many different avenues for us. Um, the first meeting with MC at East Manchester uh, six months ago has just started the ball rolling completely for Esley Allotments. We've linked to various places, we've done different, co different courses, we've been to the BBC and met different people there that have given us other advice. Uh, my name's Jim Clark, I'm the news editor for BBC Northwest tonight, the 6.30 uh, regional news programme on BBC One. I sort of tried to devise a very short uh, two afternoon session really which is a basic, a very, very basic introduction to journalism to give people an idea of, of, of you know, say the very basics of, of the craft. Really, I think we can probably develop it, and you know, probably in in the future, if it develops, I'd like to maybe bring in 
the expertise of other people in the organisation, maybe make use of the, the cameramen that work here or the, the editors, you know, people who can show people some of these skills in more in more detail and maybe set a few more, be a bit more ambitious in what we do, maybe, you know, maybe get people to go out and make, you know, one afternoon go out and make a try and make their own film, their own news report and and put it together and see how they get on. Well, I'll show you our kale when we go round. And I'm actually from the community centre yeah, and we have, a, we have a cafe that's losing right. money. Oh, right. So, so yeah. the idea is to grow the food instead of buying it. Well, that makes and, sense. And yeah. cook it in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't get much fresher. Yeah, that's right, straight from the back door <laughs> into the, into the yeah. kitchen, yeah. Uh, we just came to perform with uh, our young girls who are performing and dancing around the uh, Salford and the uh, Great Manchester area. And just encourage people. Uh, especially as as uh, immigrants, to be around and to socialize with people and uh, to just to make people happy, you know, in this country when there is summer like this is a good opportunity for people to enjoy and to enjoy around other people. And I also had the opportunity to get Jamie Lomas involved, who's in Hollyoaks, and he's come along and brought a friend of his. I'm Jamie Lomas, um, I'm from Salford. Um, my name's Anthony Quinlan, I'm from Salford also. Yay. <laughs> I would recommend community reporting for those who want to just give it a go. Uh, find out if you know if you do have a talent for it. Uh, it will certainly help you to get out. Uh, people begin to recognise you. You can make friends, get invited to to things that you wouldn't normally get. In, but you're like these little press nights where they have free wine and free food. Hey, that's good. Uh, <laughs> Plus, you know, get a little bit of a name for yourself uh, within the community. Come be a community reporter. It's loads of fun. You learn quite a lot and it is actually quite fun. <laughs>